All right, turn that off. Oh, there's a little intercom on the side there. Uh, one thing we will do first, we'll hill crash. The intercom is caked in grime. It hasn't been cleaned in years. Press the button. Oh, let me guess. A sass horse is short, my boys. Oh, my God. I love the Scottish accent. I love it. Well, I'm not looking for a bullet in the face, so you can fuck right the hell off. <laughs> Come on, McTavish. Don't make us break this door down. Oh, wait, don't. Goons are cheap. My good daughters are replaceable. Come in. But I'm no help us in here, I'm warning you. <laughs> hey Dave! Honk honk! Wait, I can you! You then we numpty sunlanders while I came all the way from Arizona to suck the patriarch's cock! This guy is automatically my favourite, dude. <laughs> but what happened to the rest of yous? Couldn't attack the cold? Couldn't you drive on ice? <laughs> Couldn't you <I> swim? <laughs> I also want to kill this guy. He seems to know a lot about what happened to us. Do you have set that up? Okay, we have information that you've been working with the Dorseys. You've got 10 seconds to tell us who let the Dorseys into. You're just asking for an ass kicking, aren't you? <laughs> I'm just pulling your button. Can you not take a joke? Uh, no. Considering my entire squad is now underneath the ice in various bits and pieces. Uh, we have information that you've been working for the Dorseys. Oh, information is that, lad? Or maybe it's just some shit you heard. Like my bar bag, you flatland hacks. I'm under Farm Brago's protection, so you can't touch me, pal. Oh my god. Uh, really? So if we shoot you now, Brago's going to jump out of nowhere and stop our bullets. We want to see that. Huh? No, I, I mean, if you shoot me, then he's gonna. gonna. He's gonna. Ah, what all of this shit? This ain't fair. Everybody shuts on me, everybody. Okay, okay. Looks like you got me at a disadvantage, so let's make a deal, eh? You push flaps drop me enough to skip tune, and I'll tell you what I can. He wants us to give him $500, mate. Fuck that! Uh, sorry, that's more money than we've got. You don't need all that to get out of town. Walking's free. How about some money instead? No deal. Start talking and we'll do you like we did your boys. You either talk to us or we take you to the marshals. Your choice. Ah, double the hell. I'm not going to buy the stocks. No way. Fine, I'll spill your monkey desert trash. <laughs> okay, yeah. I let the doses in the city. And I'm glad I did. Least I could do after the patriarch put me in the pillories. Asshole throws my bloody face off. I got a career where my nose should be. Of course I wanted some revenge. Wouldn't you? Okay, so he really doesn't like the patriarch. Fair point, but... Uh, damn. What'd you do to deserve such permanent disfigurement? Ooh, we got first aid. Uh, bet you get colds more often than you used to. Ah, oh, the time! How'd you know that? The hairs of your nose help stop germs getting into your system. You've got no nose and no hairs, so nothing stops them anymore. <laughs> Psychic powers! <laughs> Bloody hell, that's another thing the Patriarch owes me for my health! Uh, <coughs> uh so what'd you do to serve such permanent disfigurement? I know, right? No, no, we're asking you what, literally, did you do to deserve losing your nose and ears? Oh, I, well, I was buying some wholesale medicine for Gaji when all of a sudden the marshal jumped out of nowhere and grabbed me. Say I'm buying me intent to sell or some shit. 
I try to tell him. I'm no selling it. I'm getting it away with every purchase of an oil change at my shop, but the bar bags can't see the difference, so they drag me off to the pillories. I mean, I'm busted for charity, I ask you. 99% sure those guys took me by and sold it themselves too. Fucking marshals, they should stay on the inside of the law. <laughs> this guy, mate. Oh, I want to kill him, but he's awesome. <laughs> uh, so you're saying the marshals are corrupt? <laughs> are you kidding me? Is it a bear shot in the woods? Of course the marshals are corrupt. They work for the Patriarch, don't they? And he's the most corrupt tally washer of them are. You think he's the great feather who takes care of the people of Colorado? That's shite. He takes care of the people who take care of him. That's it. Now, the rest of his peons are just here to keep the machines running. That's why I ended up working for Brego. Now, he's a crook too, but he doesn't pretend he's no. No like some people I could name. Okay. <laughs> what kind of hell of accent is that? <laughs> That's, that's Scottish! I'm Scottish! Gee! Scottish plate, Scottish uh, logo, everything Scottish! The McTavishes were the kings of Scotland once you can. Even used... Uh, I love it. Even used the Scottish word for no. That's brilliant. <laughs> it sounds like you're eating a sock! I can't. Uh, uh, I can't. I can't do that. So to get revenge on the patriarch, you let the Dorseys pillage the town and murder dozens of innocent civilians. I, I didn't know that's what they were going to do. I just thought they were going to kill Buchanan. What do you think they were going to do, you twat? Did Brigo have anything to do with the Dorsey attack? What? No, oh, no way. Why would they think that? Mr. Bragg would not to do with us. Nothing. Uh, this guy sounds like you're eating a sock. I can't. Look at you, Scottish. I learned it from your video of Braveheart, which was right there when they made Scotland. It's going to be right. <laughs> I'm glad I clicked it. He learned it from the movie Braveheart. <laughs> I swear to God, if I have the choice to arrest this guy, he's going in my jail forever. Because I found the tape in a bunch of car, so can you be about what? <laughs> okay, we've heard enough. Who are you going to do with me? Uh-huh. Uh, hmm. Uh, Uh, you've had it hard enough already. Just go get out of town. You can go, but we're going to want a little reward first. You understand? A lot of folks uh, want you dead. You'll be safest in custody. Custody? You hoors! Didn't I tell you what you had to know? You fucking love it. the same. Yes. Uh, you're, you're going. You're going to my jail. Go ahead. <laughs> We've arrested McTavish. Dispatch a ranger team to bring him in. Copy that, Team November. Arrest team from HQ is en route. <laughs> oh, don't worry, mate. We're going to put you in the pillories. Oh, my God. He learned Scottish from Braveheart. Oh. Oh, my God. I've got to loot this place. My eyes are tearing up. That's too good. <laughs> note to McTavid, crumpled up and grease stained. It looks like someone be uh, balled this note up in a fit of rage. Ah, we've got private do not play. <laughs> uh, the bard's tail floppy disk. No, oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh. Makers of the game did that, didn't they? The shade tree mechanic. One use plus one to mechanic skill. Note to McTavid, let's go. McTavish and I'm for Glasgow way. Shit, that's not it. A lick me bobag sod af ye wee cunts. Come on, 
een bijl weer hitje jammy git. Hij je wat feest als schelp te herstje door maar. Hij, verder doe. Uh. <laughs> I can't. This is too good. Oh. Oh. Right. Uh, do we have archive? Here we go. Uh, interrogation, creepy dolls, and tutorials. All right. Uh, let's save. Because it has been a while. I have no idea what he was going to give me as a reward for letting him go. I don't even care. He's in my jail now. That's the best reward anybody could ask for. <sighs> Holy shit. Uh, even the cassette tape of him learning how to speak like it as well. Too much. Uh, Team November, come in. Uh-oh. This Team November, go ahead. Yeah, I got Ms. Wong, the manager at the Sands Lux Apartments on the line. And this one might actually be something. Says she's got a tenant who might be making bombs in... Shush, 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 let me talk to them. You're leaving out important details. Uh... It's the weirdo in apartment three. He's gonna kill us all. There's all kinds of loud banging coming from his room. And he's not alone. He's got friends in there. They're planning something. I know it. Have you tried calling the marshals? Downtown is their territory. Do you think I would have called you if the marshals had listened to me? They say I call too much. Goddamn lazy good for nothings. Maybe there was nothing going on those other times, but this one's real. I'm sure of it. Come to the Sands Lux Apartments, now! That loony's liable to blow the whole place sky high! Uh, sorry, November. Over and out. Huh? What do you mean by sorry? <laughs> Alright. Oh man, we're just cleaning up all sorts of problems. Hostages murdered by Dorsey thugs. Weston family confirmed dead. Oh, boy. Oh god, they're playing tonsil tennis again. Maybe I'll join the marshals. We do like roughing people up. You get drummed out in a second. Oh my god, he's gonna join the marshals just so you can beat on people. Whatever a good reason to join a job to keep the peace. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, this is the Sands Lux apartments. Who's there? Desert Rangers, see Miss Wong. What? You're here? I don't believe it. Come in, come in. Come in, come in. Oh, okay, we've got to click on that. No, all right, gotcha. <sighs> McTavish. He's going to go down in history. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, that tickled me just a little too much. Rosie Wong is waiting for you when you enter, smoking a cigarette. She smiles when she sees you. Her teeth are the colour of a caramel corn. I can't believe you came. Those goddamn marshals never come. They think I'm a pest. <laughs> I'm vigilant, is what I am. V-I-G-I-L... She takes a deep drag. A-N-T. Anyhow, I hope you're ready for trouble, Rangers, because I got a situation here. Oh, boy, do you. Oh, come on, Rosie. I always came when you called, didn't I? I love that. They they were made, they, they were put in the, 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 what is it? The, is it italic slant to the word for I, yet they just end up making it look like a forward slash. You're with the Rangers now, Quan? Well, you were one of the better ones. I'm glad you're out of that martial racket. Uh, what's your problem with the marshals? <laughs> They're bought and paid for. Sure as hell never help ordinary citizens, let me tell you. Unless you pay them extra. But I never pay anybody until they earn it. Fair. Why do the marshals think you're a pest? Because I ask them to do their job. 
They hate that, the lazy, fat-ass carbuncles. If they never did a lick of work in their lives, it would be too much for them. Ugh. What well, seems to be the trouble? The guy in room three, Irv. He's not supposed to have anybody else living there, but I hear voices in there all the time. They're always banging on stuff, and I can smell burning and bleach, and I don't know what else. Make him stop it or throw him out. Either one is fine with me. Uh, have you looked inside the room? I can't. The shifty bastard's put his own locks on the door. That's how I know he's up to no good. Apartment room three, end of the long hallway. The door's on the right. I know he's up to something. I just Ready? know it. Hats, okay, man. Rosie. We got it. That's apartment two. That's uh, uh, apartment one. Oh, we've got ourselves uh, a container over here. I love the fact that I can just go into people's homes and, uh, oh my god, mechanic level five. Boo. Well, I'm going in there then. Fuck off. You just tell me to fuck off. I mean, yeah, I know I'm barging my way into your home, but you know. Huh? Get the fuck out of my apartment. Oh, all right. They need to be so hostile. Oh my god. Apartment 6 requires level 4 lock picking. Rainbow tables used to break encryption. What the hell? Need space demons intercepted. Display rendered objects and assigned to translation vectors. A sort of figure peers at you on blinking and proffers a simple metal case. He seems to want you to take it. Uh take the case thanks alert do not delete local references to object if memory allocation is null then unhandled exception occurs it appears he's telling you not to open or discard the case or you'll face some kind of consequence he turns back to his terminals and seems to forget you're in the room doxy compatible comments to the affected keys visitor uh all of these computers appear to be networked together. They are running completely unrecognizable streams of code. Okay, is this one of those things where I need to like just keep hold of the item and then perhaps something comes of it? An unadorned metal case given to you by Satoshi. He asks you to hold on to it and never open it. Okay, I'm not going to open the case. I will likely forget the case is even in my inventory. Or I will see the case in my inventory, remember it's there, and forget not to open it. Any one of the following bad things. Meat pies. How to make pies from scratch by N. Lovett. An illustrated cookbook of meat pies from around the world and step-by-step -step recipes. If I like a good meat pie... Well, we've got a burnt out toaster, and nobody would toaster repair. Wah, wah. Ooh, flame of fuel. Oh, man, if I do. Crikey, you need toaster repair level 4 for that sucker. Hey, we can pick the lock level 5. Okay, yeah, this place is a One, booby trap. Three, five, seven, eleven, eleven. One, three, Five, seven, eleven, eleven. The world is ours, Josephine. Thank you so much. You have been the most gracious of hosts. Oh my Eureka, God! Eureka, the secret at last. Thank you so much. You have been the most gracious of hosts. This guy has been making clones. The square of the hippopotamus is three times the length of its eye. What the hell? Sunday, 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 nitro burning funny cars. I can see my own self. Traitors! Traitors, all of you! God damn. 
I have been shrunk. We have all been shrunk. That was a lot of turns. You want a brawl? Knock yourselves out. What the hell? Evasion plus fifty percent. Massive reduction in damage. Everything's cuter when it's smaller. I don't want to be small. Okay, we got a nitrogen tank now. What can we do with that? Not a lot with you. Okay, we're gonna have you evade. Oh no, doggy! Oh crikey, I had the shotgun freaking selected. Uh, let's hide over here. Oh shit, I forgot about the gun! Oh, right, okay. That will actually help me a lot. Irvine clone. Okay, not enough AP, and he ain't got anything else. Uh, oh, defend. Stun you. Resisted stun. Well, that's not good. I've got a 5% chance to hit him from here. Ridiculous. Save that point. Eureka! The secret at last! Crap. These guys are nuts hard, mate. Jesus. Uh, I need somebody to pick up a uh, cat. Gouged eye. That doesn't sound good. Hit that clone. I'm doing no damage to these guys. Uh, Lucia Wesson, 61% chance to hit. Ah, oh, lucky crit. I need to get in there. Dear God, evade.
I'm not truly medicated. Okay, what's going to happen if I stand on this thing then? I think that will come after I kill these guys. How long am I small? Two more turns remaining. Hmm. <coughs> Aha! Bleed, sucker! Thundering strike, slam the ground. Right, uh, we want to defend. One, three, five, seven, oh, great. Just, you, you know, refresh the shrunk on me. Eleven. Home again, home again. Juggity, juggity, jug. Secret at last. Right. Uh, this guy is trying to escape. Don't like that idea. But with him out there, it means he's not in here with the rest of us. So. Okay, head. Damage bonus, arms. <laughs> Tripled. Good stuff. Oh, we need to rehack that robe. Robit. Okay, first things first. Administer medical aid to crash. He's out of range for a bonk. Tame Predator, there's nothing too tame. Crash, need you to uh, rehack the robot. Okay. Ooh. I can't do anything with that, but ooh. I suppose I could use a hypo. Oh, I'll put myself right in the firing line of that feck piece there, haven't I? Oops. Of people left to choose from. Let's. I'll never see it coming. Extremely quick attack that costs only one AP but minus 60% chance to hit. <coughs> if only the dog was not in the firing line. Uh. That damn dog is killing me. Okay. Sixty-five, twenty-five. Let's go for the sixty-five. Can't do anything, no special powers. Oh god, cat, I'm sorry. <laughs> For things that wife is showing you. Oh my god, come on. 
Oh no. Please keep missing. Thank you for the medical attention. Um Yeah, Quan is next up for med aid. <laughs> oh boy. Oh that damn dog. Okay, right. I'll take my turn in a minute. Um, we can stun. <laughs> Resisted stunned. Shit. Okay, what have we got? We've got a smoke grenade. Oh, let's just knife this sucker. Oh, I said knife this sucker, but okay. You're not able to do that. I get it. I understand your perdicament. Resist blinded too. Feck me. Defend. Who knew I would be walking in on an apartment filled with guys that are absolutely psychotic. Clones. I should add. Okay. A puncturing shot. Stunned or have damaged armor. None of these guys got damaged armor, so. 72% chance. 58% chance. I'm so close to getting one of them out of this bloody fight. Home again, home again. Juggity, juggity, jug. Uh, Lucia Wesson. Out of range. 81% chance. Oh, nice. Damaged weapon. I move. There, I've got a 95% chance to do an aimed shot on this guy. Do not okay, it didn't come up as an aimed shot, that's fine. Should have done, but it didn't. Got it. I could nail this sucker to the wall. That gets them all minus the dog. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday nitro burning funny car. These guys are really doing my head in. I mean, how dare they heal, right? Shit. A cat's gone barbarian. Let's not uh, waste this opportunity. Charge up this ability with each successful attack. Leap up and slam the ground, sending out a shockwave, uh, stunning shockwave around you. Uh, 
The what? <laughs> These dudes. Come back to you in a moment. Actually, do anything in particular with you except pick up Quan. On me, crew. Quan has the chills, and they're multiplying. I've got this nasty suspicion he's going to lose control. Crash. That's over. These combos are killing me. <laughs> These combats are killing me. Oh my god. Loot bag first. That blew his head off. <laughs> uh, scientist outfit. Equally useful in laboratories and laboratory based pornography. Pulse gun. Level 10 assault rifle. Requires automatic weapons. Clothing. You found some clothing. To try it out, visit your barracks and Ranger HQ to customize your appearance. Keep in mind that equipping armor will cover up your clothing, but you can still show off your fashion sense by toggling the visibility of your armor in the inventory screen. We already know that. Ah, we got two of those uh, electronic assault rifles. It looks like Quan gets one for himself. Uh, there's nobody else here that knows how to use uh, assault rifles. Crash. Might have to increase your bump up nerdy stuff. Hack computers, difficulty 7 or less. Uh, hack robots, difficulty 7 or less. I mean, I think we could be a little bit ahead of ourselves with that one, to be fair. Automatic weapons. Confirm. Perks. Electric leakage. Hack robots steal 15 ton in energy damage to enemies in a 5 meter radius around them. Spray and pray. Gopher hunter. I think I might actually take that one for a crash. That gopher's pretty good. Ability score. Where do we want it? Ah, this will get you two action points, and you need that extra one. So there we go. Oh yeah, yours is a perk that I'm still undecided on. One, we are going to increase your... Mechanics. Because I desperately need a mechanic in my squad right now. <laughs> okay, uh, coordination, awareness, lap strength, speed. I think getting a little extra speed might be good for you. Because you are quite slow. for that. Loot time. Ooh, now to make a repair kit now. And spikes. The Clown's Guide to Paints Make Up an Acid. 1984's top seller. Now you too can look like a clown. Confetti grenade. This grenade looks exactly like a normal grenade in every way, except that it explodes in a shower of confetti. A harmless prank, unless you count giving your friends a heart attack. Throw to unleash a harmless shower of confetti. Ten of them, I might add. That has to be necessary for some reason. Turn your Jan into a Marcia. A self-help book for the trials and tribulations of being in a large family. Ammo box. Expended a lot of ammo in that fight. Med kits. See, while we're at it. I feel refreshed. Okay. Might have to heal the dog at some point. Pick lock requires six. <clears throat> Okay. On the desk you find a chaotic mess of ancient dot matrix printouts, scientific journals, and dog-eared books. Notes are scrawled upon them in a wild childish ma uh, hand. A computer awaits a button press. Begin the experiment. 
The computer analyzes both sensors as large volumes of data fill the screen. A small thermal print begins to spew out reams of information laden paper. The text is thick with mind numbing scientific jargon, charts, graphs, cryptic electrical and anatomical diagrams, and some printouts, reference books, and notes on the table. The titles of the book stand out Cloning in Our Time, Dream or Reality, Robotics, Cybernetics, and Cloning, The Future is Now, Cloning Theory and Practice, Life Everlasting, TM, Business Prospectus, A New You. The list continues, but one component remains the same. The name on every title page. Professor Erwin John Finster, PhD. Every ranger knows the name of Erwin John Finster, the director of the infamous Project Darwin and an old enemy of the Desert Rangers. Rosie's tenant, Irv, has some splaining to do. Right, I think we've looted everything in here. Cloning machine. The readouts and gra graphics have flatlined now that the clones are dead. Given specialised knowledge and the right resources, it might be possible to make more. Oh, I can't get in here. Oh. That has irked me some. Definitely nothing else in here. Let's look at it from a different perspective. Nope. We shall go and let... I'll just walk on into apartment five, why not? <sighs> Booze box. Incredibly real doll. Everyone needs a little love, even this thing. We have discovered the recipe for an item. So, what'd you find in apartment three? Was he making bombs like I said? No. He wasn't there, and it's weirder than that. Hang on. Oh my god. How many messages? I I honestly think your mum is requesting a cup of tea. And apparently a biscuit. I shall fulfil that request. In... Uh... A moment. Just a little bit longer. He wasn't there, and it's weirder than that. Weirder how? Uh, your tenant may be associated with a dangerous scientist. He also has a cloning machine. We killed several copies of him. Yeah, you were right. That's weirder than making bombs. Can I at least go in and clean up? It's not safe in there. Please stay out until we find him. Oh, his security deposit's not going to cover the repairs, is it? Uh, no. If he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy, always wearing a lab coat. Bookshop, Market Square. Let me know what happens. Well. Oh yeah, that's the guy that doesn't like us being there, and that requires mechanics level 5. Now, I can get my mechanics to level 5. I'm not wasting that book, though. 